Hey guys. Hey. I'm doing this extremely ad hoc today. Should probably take my keys off. And, but also not forget them. How do I do that? How do I make sure? And lastly, I want to deploy the little mic stand here so that I can speak to you and still play. Piece of absolute garbage. Okay, guys. So I'm back at you for another lesson of the week. As you might be able to tell, I've got a cold. And I'm also amidst setting up collaborations with a few of my favorite drummers. It's going to be awesome. But I wanted to give you guys something for this week. So I'm literally recording you this little five-minute bonus jazz lesson, which you can kind of just tack on to last week's. And that is, I just want to show you a little Kendrick Scott-inspired stick-click magic. So the very first thing is this sticking that you might remember from such lessons as the Marcus Gilmore lesson. So you can think of it in three. Okay, so the trick is just instead of, you just go, right, so. So you can substitute that anywhere you would do that, did a little. So remember this was the trip, did a little. So you can substitute that little stick lick, stick click lick there. And that may feel a little awkward to novices. So one of the important things, and Philly Joe was kind of the master of the stick click stuff, but the left hand stroke preceding the right where it's going to do the cross stick needs to really be an accented dead stroke so you don't just kind of haphazardly put it on there you really just drop it in and what's going to sound even better is if you complete the trip dead a little with another downbeat with a stick click so instead of it'll be so one, two, three, one, two, three. And there are a lot of contexts where you can use that. So one context where I like to use the same sequence is double time and it starts and ends in a different place. But if you think of, so one, two, three, four. That sounds really badass if you do. Really practice the because the temptation is going to be to only catch the first of these two because you have to do the next plant with the left hand. So make sure you leave that down and then catch it. So another thing you can do is hemiolize it. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so Kendrick actually does a variation of this where he'll do. So that's another thing you might want to practice slow to fast. And Kendrick actually also likes to add the last bit of the triplet sometimes. So instead of just, he'll actually add that last left hand. And he must have calluses seriously half an inch thick on his left hand because that is rough. So there's some great clips of Kendrick doing that at the Detroit Jazz Festival with Terrence where he's doing it about four times as fast. I wanted to do it slowly and cleanly for you guys, but 
those of you guys wondering what Kendrick's doing in that spot, that's what he's doing. Another way to stick that, by the way, is just the six stroke roll. That might help you do it more quickly. Still haven't nailed it. That's the Kendrick Glick. Guys, as usual, check out the 8020 roadmap. For those of you guys who have been fans of the channel for a minute and you want a gateway drug into some of my paid products, the 8020 roadmap will summarize for you the three most common issues I see young drummers and just up and coming drummers in general with at drum clinics and lessons. A lot of times they'll ask me questions about really abstract things and then I listen to them play and their playing has nothing to do with any of the questions they're asking. It usually has to do with one of these three core issues, that if people stopped playing everything else they were playing and worked on these three things, the drum world as a whole would, would continue to get better. By the way, the drum world as a whole is continuing to get better. It's pretty amazing. There's like a DIY army out there now. I don't know if you guys have checked Instagram lately, but there are some killers just under the radar. I love it. I love being a part of it. It all just means that we don't need people to choose us anymore we can just get good at the drums and make our own careers which is freaking awesome anyway guys one love see you soon with these collaborations bye bye